Hello, good morning, guys. Oh, it's afternoon. I'm just waking up. I want to use this video to rant, but I'm going to rant very, very quietly. This video is about ranting. Q U quiet Q U I T. I want to rant on this video and I want to rant quietly. The reason why I am ranting on this video is because I understand that some of you are not aware. Some of you are ignorant. I want to ask you a question. When you come to people's page, don't forget, you don't watch everything. You choose the things that interest you that you want to watch. It's called content. It's like watching DSTV and holding your remote and changing into different channels that you like. Remember, when you are sitting in front of your television, you choose your channel. You choose the channels that interest you. Some of you don't watch news. When you come to people's page, you are the one that chooses the content that interests you. Since you have chosen what you want to watch, why are you disturbing us? I see a lot of you saying, oh, blessing, you're always talking about sex. Oh, blessing, everything about you is sex, sex, sex. That is what you choose. It's because anytime you see anything about sex, you rush and you click. There are so many intellectual videos that have nothing to do with sex on blessing's page, but you swipe and you pass. Why do you keep complaining about the things that you choose, about the things that interest you? Only you is watching it. Only you is complaining. Why are you people hypocrites in this part of the world? The Bible said, if your hand will let you to sin, cut it off. If your eye will let you to sin, cut it off. But no, you will not cut it off. You will sit down and you will watch the pornography from beginning to end and come and start complaining. You will not cut it off. You will sit down, you will watch that nudity from beginning to end and you come and start complaining. If you go to the person's page, you will never, com you will never comment on anything that the person is wearing clothes. If you see somebody wearing a suit now, you will swipe and you will pass. You only comment when they are naked. They are not the problem. You are the problem. Because that is what you chose to watch. And you now come and start saying, Bless you know, stop deceiving young girls. Stop deceiving young girls. Stop misleading young girls. Who is misleading you exactly, please? I'm not misleading you. You are misleading yourself. Because you choose the things that interest you. If you, come to, if you go to anybody's page, there is something that is, they post different things. If you don't like what people are posting, you get out. You don't come to people's page. You don't tell DSTV not to show a particular channel because you don't like it. All you do is you change your channel. And that's why DSTV gives you varieties of channels so that when you don't like this one, you can change, not complain. Please. I just want to appeal to a lot of you so that you won't come to my DM and be begging me to block you or to unblock you because I block a lot of people. And sometimes when you come back, and ask me to unblock you. I feel bad saying I cannot unblock you. It's not pride. It's because I can't imagine going to search for your name and come and start unblocking you. Do you know what it takes to block somebody? You click like three buttons before you block. And do you know how your face looks like when you want to block somebody? Let me tell you how I block people. Probably I could be scrolling through my phone like this and I just see a comment. This is how I block people. Hey! <laughs> So this is how I block people. First of all, when I see a useless comment on my face, this is my expression. <laughs> Idiot. You can imagine the stress. You see what my face was like blocking you. After two weeks, you will now come to my DM with a fake account and ask me to unblock you. I will not unblock you. Once I block, I don't unblock. So please, when you come to my page and you see something you don't like, swipe through. See my page. Let me quickly show you my page to those of you who do not take time to look at Blessing CEO's page. Hold on. This is what my page looks like. I have, see my page. I have 1,376 posts on my page. If it is the sex post that interests you, watch it and get out. 
If it is the intellectual post that interests you, watch it and get out. You have absolutely no right to criticize what I post. I'm warning you. I said, let me use this video. I warn all of you. I will block you. Ah, oh, God damn it. I will block you. And when I block you, I cannot unblock you. Whether heaven want to fall, I do not unblock. Instead, you're going to have to create another account to follow me. I don't unblock. So I am begging you, when you come to people's page and you see what they don't like, pass. Like I said, you are the one that choose what you want to watch you. Don't forget. Because see how people swipe through Instagram. This is how they swipe. PM, 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 PM. You see how they're swiping? They do not like, they do not like everything. So probably you'll now see one girl that is naked. Maybe as they're swiping, PM, 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 PM. They now see one breast. They will now stop. They will now look at the breast. Now do. They will now comment. Useless gay. See as your breast fall. I will block you. You can see the same way you were swiping, PM, PM, PM. You can swipe and pass it. But no. Because that is the one that interests you. That is why you commented. My own is, don't insult me on my page. It takes a whole lot to create content. You are just a viewer. I don't think a content creator will come on another, on another content creator's page and insult a content creator. Some of you just sit on your baseless cheap phones, swiping through your phone and looking for internet. Some of you can't even create what you insult. Some of you cannot do what we do. Some of you can't even sit on your phone and talk for five minutes. Some of you can't create sticks. Some of you don't even have brains. Some of you don't even have sense. We do this every day of our life. We sit down. We strategize on how to make people smile. We strategize on how to teach people. We strategize on how to keep people busy. We strategize on how to guide people. It's a whole lot of work. Don't think that we are jobless. Because without us on this social media, I wonder what you'll be swiping through. If all of us decide to be as stupid as you are, if all of us decide to be trolls, if all of us decide to be forming classy and hide under a private account, I wonder what you'll be swiping through on Instagram. So respect yourself and respect the people who create content for you to come and watch. Any content that does not suit your belief, your religion, your, your way of life, waka pass. Nobody is tying you to anybody's page. After all, I don't even know that you are following me. Many of you that are following me, I don't know you are following me. It's except your comments. I got to know that a lot of people are following me by their comments. I don't even know you. So if you come to people's page and you see that what they are posting is what you don't like, oh God, waka pass. Just go and pass. We have pastors on Instagram. Pastors that don't used to post nude pictures. We have prophetess that used to pray every day. We have different type of people on Instagram. Go and follow them now. No. You come to our page and you'll be crying. You'll be lamenting. No, 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 no. Like I told one of my followers that claimed that she loves me. There was this woman who sent me 200000 into my company account. Then she called to tell my staff that she sent me 200000 for a recharge card. I was excited. I was like, let me call her and tell her thank you. I got her phone number from my staff. I called her. I told her, thank you, ma'am. I saw the money you sent to me. God bless you. She now said, blessing. I'm a fan. I'm your number one fan. I watch you every day, but I have an opinion. I told her, go ahead. She said, the truth about it is that blessing. There are some things you should not be posting. This is how your page should be. This is what you should post. Blessing, you know a lot of people are looking up to you. A lot of people are this. This is what you should do. You know, she gave her opinion, which was not bad. But when she was done giving her opinion, I told her, Madam, I have gotten to the stage of my life whereby I'm intentional about the things that I do. You are not my only audience. One thing most of you don't understand is I'm not here for you. I'm here for everybody. That's why I am very, very vast with my content. I am not posting because you're a woman. Neither am I posting because you're a man. Have you not noticed that sometimes when I post the one that men like, men will repost and comment. When I post the one that women like, women will repost and comment. You people have not gotten to the stage to understand that my post is not about you. My post is about life. So many times I post something and you feel guilty about it. It simply means you need to adjust your character. Sometimes when I'm talking, it's as if I'm talking to you, Shibi. You always feel I'm referring to you. That's because there is something about you you need to change. I don't know you. I've never met you before. How come? It's just like prophecy. It's like you passing on the road and the prophet is telling you, come, come, come. And the prophet tells you everything about your life. It simply means your life needs adjustment. So when I talk to you like this, stop feeling attacked. Because most of you think that I'm attacking you. 
when I say something about men, you say, oh, I'm, women say, oh, blessing, you are... It's not about a man or it's not about a woman. I'm not supporting anybody. It's not even about you because I don't know you. So when people make videos that talk to you, it simply means you need adjustments. You don't need to go and be arguing or fighting or hating. Some of you do not like blessing today because I'm telling you your life stories. Some of you don't like blessing today because I'm putting your history in your face. I'm telling you that that thing you're doing is not right. Uh -uh. Instead of you to adjust that thing you do, you become defensive. Uh, blessing, you're always supporting men. Oh, blessing, you're always supporting women. When I say post about men, they'll say, oh, blessing, you're always supporting women. I say about men. They say, so you see that they are confused people. People always think that you do things because of them. And like I used to say, this social media circle has made a lot of people that are following you very funny. Some of you who are followers actually think that we are here doing something for you. No, it's not about you. It's about me. Before I put out any content, I know that it is interesting. Let me tell you something people don't understand. I watch myself. For every time I finish doing a live video, I go back and I watch myself. There was a day my younger sister was telling me, Sister Ankiru, you are so obsessed with yourself. Every time I'm baiting, I cannot bait in my bathroom without watching my video. I used to use my video to bath and rub cream. That's how obsessed I am with myself. I know a video that will make you laugh. I know a video that will make you talk. I'm a content creator. If the video I'm posting does not interest me, I will not post it. So the point is, it's not about you. Don't always think that this thing is about you. Oh, if I post this iPhone, I want to please you. It's not you. It's what I want to post. That's how I feel, feel at that point in time. If I come and twerk, I'm not working for you. I'm not working because I want you to see my ass. Who are you exactly? Most of you cannot afford me. How many of you can afford me on Instagram? In terms of, oh, trying to attract you. If I, if I want to attract people, I know where to go and twerk. And they will pay me very, very well. So when you see me twerking on the internet, I'm not twerking for you. I'm twerking because I'm excited. That's what I want to do at that point in time. But the social media has made most of you feel so entitled to those people you are following. Once you are following Blessing CEO, you think that Blessing CEO is living her life for you. I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me. Anything you see me do on the media are the things I want to do to make myself happy. That's my mood at that point in time. So... Stop this your entitlement mentality because you feel you are following somebody. So they owe you a particular post. They have to be posting the things that you like. The question is, who are you? I cannot post the things that you like. I post the things that I like. Then if you don't like it, you pass. That's why you are following me. So you guys need to change this mentality of thinking that people have to do a particular thing in a particular year. I'm not here for you people. I'm here for everybody. So don't think it's always about you. If I put out a post that does not suit you, waka pass. Many of you have become failures today because you refuse to learn. What did I say? Many of you have become failures today because you refuse to learn. You're only looking for somebody that will be supporting your foolishness. That's all. When somebody does not support your foolishness, you don't like the person. Why do you travel abroad? When you travel to Dubai, when you travel to London, when you travel to Brazil, when you travel to Ghana, do you behave like a Nigerian? What is exposure? Exposure simply means learning the things that you do not know. Exposure simply means unlearning and relearning. When you travel to Brazil, you will start to see life in a different way. Wow! Is this how they live life in Brazil? Oh my God! You've learned something. You've unlearned something that you learned from Nigeria. When you travel to London, the same thing. When you go to Brazil, will you go and start arguing with Brazil people? When you go to Brazil and you see girls walking naked, do you go and tell them, eh, you're not supposed to walk naked? In my culture, they used to wear clothes. Do you go and confront them? Shebi, when you go to Brazil, you admire Brazil bots and you come back. She, do you go there and go and criticize them? You don't. When you travel to London, you travel to other countries, do you go there and, no, what do you do? You learn. You understand their culture and say, wow, so life can be seen like this. Whoa, so life can be, that's why most of you are illiterate. You suddenly want people to change their life just because you have a lifestyle. Your lifestyle is not my lifestyle. When you watch Cardi B, you are excited. If we come and do what Cardi B is doing now, you become a motivational speaker. There's this recent photo that Cardi B snapped. Her nipples was out. She just painted this place white. Say you enjoyed the photo. That photo got almost 2 million likes. <clears throat> with almost 17,000 comments. Nigerians were there commenting. The people who were commenting were not just... The people who were commenting were not just, um, what they call it, 
um, foreigners, people who were commenting were Nigerians. But let a fellow Nigerian do that thing that Kadibi do. You become a motivational speaker. You start to speak in tongue. No, you're not supposed to do it like this. Oh, yeah, this is prostitution. No? Because some of you just feel that there are some people that are meant for it. If somebody like Messieke wears a bikini right now, oh, all of you go and say, oh my God, Messieke is hot. Messieke is actually so hot. Maybe you go and admire Messieke. But if somebody like Bless Nokoro wears a bikini now, you come and say, Blessing, go and wear clothes. Blessing, you are shapeless. Blessing, you are a mother. Blessing, you are a this. And I laugh at your foolishness. It's because most of you feel that there are people that are supposed to wear a bikini. And there are people that are not supposed to wear a bikini. But you don't have the right to define anybody's life. You don't have that right. And that's why a lot of girls are going to do liposuction now. Because these days, it's making it look as if it's only when you do liposuction. That's when you can show your body. It's only when you do liposuction. That's when you can wear swimsuits. It's only when you do... That's, that's why every girl wants to do liposuction. So that they can show off. No. You can show off your body. Lipos, before liposuction, we're wearing, we're wearing swimming trunk. Before liposuction started trending. Far back in the 90s, we we're wearing swimming trunk and going to the bar beach. So you cannot come and tell me how to live my life. Just because you have a certain way of living life. Stop letting this bloody nuisance on the internet control you. Because these people who sit behind their phones and want to tell you what they do, don't even know what they are doing. Live your life. Anybody that does not like the life you're living should get out. Even the Bible said, if your eyes will cause you to sin, cut it off. If your mouth will cut you to sin, cut it off. If a coral blessing will let you to sin, get out of my page. God did not say, if the eye will let you to sin, you should go and kill the person. Cut your eye off. God did not say, cut the person's eye off. God did not say, kill the sinner. The Bible said, if your eye will let you to sin, you, or God, remove that eye. God did not say, if your eye will let you to sin, go and kill the sinner. No. Remove your own eye. If a coral blessing will let you to sin, get out of her page. They did not tie you to Europe here. You people do not know where to bring your religion to. You claim you are religious. You, came, you claim you are a pastor. You claim you are a Christian. Yet, it's only in your picture that you used to see. All the pictures on people's pages is only nyash and breasts. You don't see any other thing apart from nyash and breasts. So who is the problem? You are the problem. Because that is what you enjoy watching. When you are swiping through people's page, you only swipe until you see nyash and breasts. That's when you comment. I'm warning you. Me, this video is for warning and for ranting. The way I'm blocking people these days, eh? as you see me at this point of my life, I don't care so much. Oh. Ah. You people have said the worst about blessing. There's nothing you people want to say now on the internet that you people have not said before. Mm? So at this point of my life, I don't give a damn what you have to say. So you should know that one, at, first of all, a blessing. She doesn't care. A lot of you have ex exhausted your insult on the internet. What have you people not called me? Uh, cloud chaser, attention seeker, uh, liar, thief. Asheru. What have you guys not called me? You guys have called me a lot. So, at this point, I will block you. Block your generation. Block your unborn generation. And block the generation that is still coming, the one that you are still carrying inside belly. Block all of you. Anyway, I just came to a rant before I go and have my bath. I never bath. I'm just waking up from sleep. As I see you, we sleep at 2 o'clock. It's not our fault. And I see you, Kimi. See you people, we used to sleep at 2 o'clock. So let me go and take a shower. You can see I'm still on my nighty. So, now bath. Naim, I won't go bath now. So, I'm going to see you guys later. And um, I'm going to tell you guys what's popping in a few minutes. Because there's something popping. And you guys know that there's always something popping. So in a few minutes, guys, I'm going to tell you guys what's popping. Yes, sir. I'm going to pop something. So, guys, let me go bath. I'm going to talk to you guys later. So, in a few minutes time, now you guys are not going to recognize me. I'm going to like... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ha. <sighs> Alright, guys. Have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend. I love you guys. Bye-bye.